What's up, Choo Choo's? Today, we're doing snake oil. So, snake oil is a fantastic, fun party game in which the players take turns acting as customers and ridiculous snake oil salesmen. So, very much like apples to apples or cards, cards against, against humanity. humanity. You just <laughs> use two cards instead of one. All the time. Right. Every time. Every time. So, all right, for the so first round. What are, we, what are we playing to in this one? So the first round, I'm going to be a princess. So you guys are going to take two cards from your hand and try to create an item that you think a princess would be interested in. Now, unlike apples to apples or uh, cards against humanity, we know exactly who is making these sales pitches because you guys actually have to pitch it to me like a door-to-door -door salesman. You have to make me want this item. I have to want it. Okay, who goes first? Whoever wants to. Okay. Hello, fair lady, maiden. Uh, I, I am here to pitch to you a ghost house. Um, in this ghost house, it is actually possessed by an ancient spirit who happens to be your fairy godmother. So, she would love it if you came by and visited her, and she will help you find your Prince Charming. In the ghost house? It's possessed by your <laughs> godmother, fair godmother. Who is dead, I guess. I guess she was Why? always a ghost. Why would you go for a ghost house <laughs> when you could go for Hope Poop? Get out of my store. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You hope know what? Poop. It's poop with hope in it. No, you know what? You you don't have to be a princess. You can be a strong, independent woman princess. You can be whatever you As want kind of princess. princess. You can be the best princess ever. And the only way, the only way you can reach your true potential is with this axe muscle. <laughs> your bicep that turns into a great big shopping axe. Get through anything. No tower can hold you. Nothing can. Who needs Prince Charming? Okay. Well, <laughs> as my dainty little princess self, um, I, I guess I'll take my undead fairy godmother. Oh, come on. <laughs> hope, hope. It's an axe muscle. <laughs> that was gold. Oh my All right, God. That was gold. Sean, it buddy. It was pearls before swine. Who, who are we selling to? You are selling to a teenager. A teenager? Yeah. Oh, God. All right, uh, hip young teenager. You want to get a little high? Here's this new drug on the street called bucket cheese. We take the drugs and we ferment it in a bucket in the sun. And we, like, take a balloon over it. And then the fermented gas is going to the balloon and then you huff it. It's bucket cheese. It's the hot new thing. Stop playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Flicking Poke- Oh my god, you are playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> ah. Oh. Well, for when, for when you're out there playing Pokemon Go in the park in the middle of the night and the police are like, What are you doing over here, man? You can have a snot neck. You know, a snot net for when you gotta go on that important day, but you got a cold and you just stick the snot net up your nose and she never knows anything the wiser. Snot net. He's a teenager. He has no important days. Dude, days. you're a teenager. And there are three letters that describe everything you've ever wanted. S. E. X. <laughs> and when you want to get that, you gotta make sure that she's ready for it and that she's not gonna get hurt by making sure that you are lubed up with tunnel butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh man, you no, want the snot net? I got Dylan. No. How many cards are you supposed to have? Seven. They're going with tunnel oh, butter. Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody uses that. Okay, it's my turn? Yeah. <laughs> I just take the top I think card. I'm gonna use that the next time. I'm gonna be like, hey baby, you want me to grab the tunnel butter? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I just take the top card, right? Or yeah. Okay. Well, no, you can actually select any card, but yeah, then you get to matter. choose front or back. Front or back, right? Okay. Uh, I am going to be a sports fan. Sports, sports, sports fan. fan. All right, here you go, sports fan from the makers of Fat Heads and your life-size wall posters. 
become the Wish Poster. The what? Wish Poster brings your favorite sports hero to life. Compliments of fatheads.com for your life size and lifelike sports coat player <laughs> too. You need to get out of the house and stop punching so many sports, but you can have a life-size Brett Favre. Or a life-size... I can't think. I don't sports a lot. <laughs> Do you remember those Gatorade commercials where the guys would like drink the Gatorade and like, ah! and they were like in sweating colors. They like had neon things oh, coming yeah, out of their body. Man. That's what you want. You want to sport so hard that you have neon sweat pouring from your pores. But that's hard to do without getting like all kinds of cancer. So what you use instead is sugar mist. Spray yourself with this and you'll look just like those hardcore athletes sweating out Gatorade without the cancer. No, not fast enough, not good enough. Not enough power! Give it more! Give it more of everything you need! Put it right into an IV and inject it into your veins! That's the only way to experience everything, baby! With new power blood! Power blood? <laughs> Better than regular blood! This ain't your grandma's blood! Will power blood make you a better sports fan? Yes! <laughs> It'll really make not. you a better everything! <laughs> You'll win an arson! <laughs> no. Oh man. <laughs> power blood. <laughs> power blood. Flower, power blood. I can't argue that. Oh man. I am a firefighter. Firefighter, eh? Yep. God, I'm I'm drawing from a different stack next time. I've just got the worst cards. No, no that's your stack. You stick with your own stack. <laughs> Keep your you stick with your own away time. from my stack. We put all the worst words at the bottom. Get with the Josh. You know what? After a long hard day of being a being a fighter fighter, you wanna just you wanna just relax. You wanna go home. You wanna lie down because you're actually a, a Dalmatian who rides with the fire <laughs> fighters. His tummy tickle. You're a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good dog. Remember that. It was me who told you. Here's foot tofu. It's like, I don't know, protects your feet from fire, foot tofu, get out of my store. God. No, put it, leave it out there, you might like it. Better than the other ones. No. Foot tofu. Foot tofu. Look, we all know what happens to firefighters. At least, my brief experience watching that TV drama about Ladder 51 or whatever, we all know what happens to firefighters. Make sure that you don't get stuck in some boring afterlife, and then instead you get to go to candy heaven. <laughs> I, I, that's how you die. That's you after I've died and I'm, 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 I'm gonna take my tummy tickle. <laughs> your little, your little tummy tickle. I'm gonna take my tummy tickles. Oh my right. god. Okay. I'm going to be uh, a toddler. A I'm toddler. A toddler. Okay. Wow. Actually, uh, you I know actually what? Got... You're I'm sorry, what? There's pretty I'm so, much I'm sorry, what? nothing else. I don't understand. That, that. I can... <laughs> Look, here's something shiny. Here's a, it's a <gasps> glitter cape. You can wear it and be shiny all the time and make everything else you touch shiny, okay? <gasps> You're a toddler. Ooh. <laughs> Do I really have to I say I'd given you better points if you had talked in the voice, though. <laughs> what, what voice? The, the, I'm a grown-up talking to toddler voice. This is my grown-up talking to toddler voice. <laughs> no wonder toddlers are vaguely scared of me. <laughs> they are kind of. <laughs> he looks Here, almost like a giant bear. What you but want. might be growling at me. Toddlers love stickers. Toddlers love, love chewing stickers. gum. I Actually, love gum chewing is, gum. Oh, yeah. You How want you know? sticker gum. Mm. Stick. You can chew it and stick it on things. Not unlike yeah. normal gum, except it's supposed to do that. Ah, oh, then my mom won't get mad at me. That's right. Cleans off the wall, no problem. Perfect. Chugging hazard, though. See, uh, that doesn't mean anything to me. Hey, you like oh, juice? Yes. <laughs> Do you like not wearing underwear? Uh, maybe. Okay. Wait. Well, what's underwear? Stranger. Bad touch. My mom said that if anybody asks about, if any grown-ups ask about my underwear, I should call the police. But you do wee, like wee, juice. Wee, wee. Is that right? That is true. Do you like juice? I do. You like juice? Yes. All right. Please well, don't ask about my underwear, though. Here's some juice underwear. <gasps> it's a great flavor, and you can wear it on your head. Never oh on your body. Oh my gosh. 
It's juice underwear. Gum sticker. Ah, oh, gum sticker and glitter tape. These are all amazing <laughs> options for a toddler. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to go with underwear juice just because he talked in the voice to the toddler. <laughs> Dad, come. He's talking the voice. I forgot the no, voice. Well, my voice. I forgot the voice. All right. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, what is it, John? I'm going to be a camper. A camper? A camper. Oh boy. Where would you like to go as a camper? I'll tell you where you want to go. You want to go where you can find all the fun stuff to play with. Come to Garbage Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage Mountain has everything that you ever threw away and never wanted to have. I kind of want mountain garbage. Mountain garbage. garbage. They keep their interchangeable. That's specifically <laughs> from mountains. Specifically mountain garbage. You can find your missing socks. You can find your old cell phone. You can find that hard drive that was full of bitcoins. <laughs> Come to Garbage Mountain and find your mountain garbage. <laughs> okay. Hey, have you ever been camping? Of course you have, you're a camper. Don't be trying. When you're out there camping, <laughs> don't you ever just think, man, I sure could use a tarp. Oh man, I need to go to the store. Wait a second, what if my tarp was made of money? Money tarp. <laughs> Done. Keeps you dry, and you can buy stuff with it. How expensive is this tarp? <laughs> Money tarp. Oh, you're a camper. Oh. So obviously you enjoy going out of, you know, wonderful man-made structures, going out into the wilderness, and allowing bugs to crawl all over you while you attempt to sleep. So obviously what you wanted from the beginning was a freaking spider adventure. <sighs> I'm going with mountain garbage. <laughs> Dang, come on. I'm going to get my bitcoins. <laughs> Having an adventure rather than just, you know, building a blanket out of money. You're a camper. Obviously, you wanted spiders in your mouth. I don't have to camp for that. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to war. I'm a soldier. Here you go, soldier man. You fight for truth, honor, and the American way, but war is hell, and this planet has been plunged into terror. So get yourself some toy peace, because it's the only time you'll ever know it. <laughs> you know what? You don't know what you want to symbolize everything that you've done? You want to have a fun souvenir. Thank you for your, uh, for your work out there. Here is your trucker hat. <laughs> Actually, it says it's just, just truck. It hat. just says truck, truck hat. hat. So it might be a hat. You know what it is. Composed entirely out of trucks. Okay, it might be that too. <laughs> Hello, Master Soldier. My name is Timmy, and I am writing you from the second grade for Veterans Day. We are writing letters to say how much we love you and appreciate all you do for our country. I am writing, sending you a picture of some art we did. It is rainbow art for you. Please send me back money for the materials. <laughs> Signed, Timmy. Timmy. Oh man. That's, a, that's got a COD on it. Rainbow art, toy piece, or a truck hat. <laughs> Come on. You gotta go with the hat. Here you go, little Timmy. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. extorting you for money. <laughs> oh, I'm not sending him the money. I'm just sending him a little card with a snake on it. <laughs> <laughs> you bought the art. Okay, guys, this is really important to me. I'm a party host, and I don't, I don't know what my guests want. I don't know what to give them. I'm a party host. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so you're a party host, host, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're trying to host the best party. You're yes. Get, and you've got to get people to respect you. You've got to get people to do that before they can have fun. And the only way to get that is for them to fear you. Is to get them in your icy grips. And the best way to do that is to have a light from the heavens shining down on them. A fear star, if you will. <laughs> oh Welcome God. to the fear star! Here are the drinks. Rolls right off the tongue. It sells itself. The fear star. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. It's not as bad as the Death Star, come on. You're raving with your techno music. You're bumping and grinding all night long. It's getting hot, the room is packed, everybody's sweating, except for you, because you've got your sweat crown. 
You also will be sweating with a fear star. <laughs> <laughs> sweat crown keeps that sweat from dripping in your eyes and totally makes you look badass to the ladies. I'm married. <laughs> anyway. You didn't specify in your <laughs> party hosts. Oh, geez, Tommy. This party is boring. Yeah, right, Becky. Boy, I wish we'd gone to a more exciting party. I heard that Charlie's party has trampoline kite. Trampoline kite, that's right. You can fly a kite inside and jump around on it on a Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want, nobody wants to hate my stars. Cards. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe that. That fear star was made of gold. You didn't say that. <laughs> Alright, I am oh, I am a wizard. I am a wizard. Oh my god, you're a wizard. I am a wizard. I have no cards. <laughs> <laughs> I am alone over here. Just uh, discard them all and then pick up seven new ones. I can do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here you go, wizard. In your high tower. But wait a minute. Towers don't have plumbing. How on earth are you ever going to eliminate your unsightly excrement out of your tower? I disintegrate, but that would require it being on the floor. But every wizard has a window. So here, you just use your butt pipe, <laughs> crap in a tube, and it goes out your window. Oh my god. But how are you going to fill up your butt pipe? <laughs> You went, you went and made your tower, and you forgot kitchen. How could you have done this? If people need to eat, everybody needs to eat. They can't just be gruel all the time. But you need something healthy, something with healthy oils, like a, like a fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sandwich. It's just, it's just a fish sandwich. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Screw butt pipes. Well, it don't do sweet. that. But anyway. <laughs> You're a wizard. It's, it's your job to deal with tragedies, but what if you ain't got the right kind of spells to deal with that right kind of tragedy? Introducing Tragedy Poison. Kills tragedies dead 100% of the time. Most of the time. I, I'm sorry. I am hungry. <laughs> I have to go with just a fish sandwich. I am discarding all of these cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was Two. Just a fish sandwich. Three. Four. <laughs> Five, six, oh yeah, that's a thing. Seven. <laughs> the thing that I did. <laughs> I'm a magician. It's close to a wizard. Ah, oh, these are so. Oh, if only I had a fish sandwich to sell you. <laughs> I know. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Be amazed. Be the human bullet. Fire yourself out of a cannon and spray shit onto the audience with your potty can. <laughs> 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 you just poop into a bucket and then, <laughs> and then fire <laughs> shit on your audience. You have nothing but plumbing and <laughs> shit. Oh man. I stand by what I sell. <laughs> Not too close though. <laughs> what kind of disappearing act wouldn't be complete without a grand reappearance? And what if you could reappear in a cream suit? That's right, not only are you wowing the audience, but now you're appearing in a suit entirely made of cream. How does it work? I don't know, but it's there. It's unfortunate, I really needed suit cream. <laughs> Damn it. Soften up my suit. Just soften up my suit. <laughs> That's, did I say cream suit? That's what I meant, suit cream. Sorry, that was my Slystexia kicking in. <laughs> oh, suit cream. It's cream. I much prefer the suit cream. My suit fits, it's just not creamy enough. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know what stinks when the audience is yawning because you're so boring. So rake up their yawns; so they can't yawn anymore with the yawn rake. It's it, it's a rake. Get out of the store. <laughs> it does. Rake up the yawn. I'm sorry. I just. I know I sold it oh to myself, my but I'm taking soup cream. Yeah, soup cream. Oh my god! All right, Josh. Why did I get thrown in Because you won. Oh, I won. Yes, awesome. No, it's suit cream. I, I, I just oh, saw grandma. It's also, I picked, so it's your turn. Yep. <sighs> oh, man. 
Oh, dude. Oh, man. I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. Our... <laughs> Our... <laughs> All right. <I'm> <laughs> Ninjas, you have to move quietly, which means you gotta take your shoes off. So you're creeping around in socks all the time. But how are you ever going to disarm the shogunate when you don't even have a weapon on you? Promise. You know, it's, you need... You need an appropriate weapon that also doubles as a way for you to maneuver uncomfortably. I think you know where I'm going with this. Oh man. Go forward. Move ahead. Try to detect it. It's not too late <laughs> to whip it. Whip it good with your whip socks. Ooh, whip socks. Mm. Patent pending. Ah, uh, honorable ninja. That's racist. You that is are me. learning to become deadly machine capable of killing with any part of your body. But have you been keeping up with exercising maybe all parts? Hmm, maybe you're not capable of killing with every single inch of your body, which is why you need to buy my DVD to work out and exercise your toes. Kill enemy with your pinky toe. Ha. Dishonor. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of you! <laughs> any job done right raids need be done with any, any weapon, any time, any place, but where to put the body? That's the, where real, to put the body? That's yes. the real question. And how, how will you inter the dead? There is only one answer. You must keep what on you. A coffin pillow. <laughs> a coffin pillow? Use that. The body's there. Get out of the store. I like oh, the idea. You'll be here for an hour! <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the idea of a pillow coffin. I can't use you anymore. I need to get a pillow. Too soft. <laughs> I thought it was a you coffin made bacteria. entirely of pillows, but... Um, no. Uh, I love the idea of being able to just flail my legs around, <laughs> silently killing whip socks. Yeah. Whip socks. Oh, you would. You bring much honor to my house. <laughs> What, am... what are we playing to? Five. Five, okay. Okay. I am, uh, I am some sort of icy construct. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm a golem from the Jewish faith made entirely out of snow. I am a snowman. Do you want to build a snow? Wow. No! <clears throat> what will you give me? I will accept... Old silk hats that you found, corn cob pipes, and button noses. If you try to sell me anything with heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, what snowman doesn't love to hear the words winter is coming? But what you don't want to hear That's what I say. is spring is coming. So, you need a weatherman, but even better than a weatherman is a future stool. That's right, all you have to do is sit on this stool and you will be able to see the future. You'll know when spring is coming and you can uh, fly north for the winter. Future stool. I think, I think you misunderstand what snowmen are. But I will consider it. Uh, you can still sit on and move north. You can't stop the coming spring. It is inevitable. You're going to, f you're going to melt, and then your entire body, as liquid, is going to soak into the earth and be sucked up by trees. Trees. You're making me feel bad. Those jerks, living and thriving off of your carcass. No. Yeah. No. I mean, That's no. why you need a mop pump to just mop up your corpse and pump <laughs> it out, so that that way those trees don't get any, any of your. Any of your liquid carcass. You know, with a future Oh my god, I don't know who's pump. going to use this. I, I don't know what is wrong with you, <laughs> sir, or no, what the heck is going on. I've never been Holy happy. shit, you're a snowman. You're supposed to, like, bring joy. Your biggest problem is finding out where to bring joy, you know, for stuff. God damn, yeah, just like a baby whistle. Find somebody and make somebody happy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and just a baby don't, whistle. Don't do it, Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> People love you. Ah, uh, I am. I. So it's a whistle that calls babies, like dogs. It's more like echolocation. <laughs>
<laughs> so it used to belong to a witch. So he whistles, and then he gets like an <laughs> echolocation ping back from the whistle yes. because it resonates against babies. Now that I have, uh, my, right. now that I have oh. my baby whistle, I'm coming to your neighborhood. Both Sean and Christopher Lock your doors. have four. four. Okay, right. we're getting close. I am a robot. I am also a consumerist. Sell me your devices. Here's what you want, robot. You you can be a real boy and be a fashionable bell to ball as a consumerist with your spirit dress. It's actually a possessed dress that has a poltergeist of the woman who died in the dress <laughs> in it. And you can absorb her spirit and have a soul. Why are there so many things in your shop haunted? <laughs> It's either haunting or shit. You want a gremlin? Oh, that's right. It's either poop or, or haunted. <laughs> We're just waiting for haunted poop. <laughs> what robot a doesn't want a meaty companion? A flesh and blood companion to go along with your electrical blood and uh, metally meat. Electric blood and metal meat. You're right. But That's also, how I think of myself. But also, a companion that will keep you warm at night. I need to write those down. Those That's right. Good. You want a blanket monkey. <laughs> I do. I do. I don't even, I can't, I can't compete with Blanket Monkey. I don't have my, this. With my electric blood and my metal meat. I can't, I, <laughs> here's a place to keep your hugs. It's your hug tub. <laughs> then I hope I'm only going to get those if I get that monkey bl bl Blanket Monkey. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> with my electric blood and my metal meat. Okay. All right. <laughs> I am a pro oh wrestler. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What you need as a pro every pro wrestler has one thing in common. They have signature moves. Are you ready to get hype? Are you ready to rock the audience? Are you ready to intimidate and eviscerate? Well, turn out and turn up with your hell burp. <laughs> you will summon all the fiery powers of hell and eject it out of your mouth and paralyze your opponent with your hell burp. I kind of want to send my foes to burp hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a hell burp. Okay, it's, it's a hell burp. It's a hell burp. <laughs> oh, man. When you're out there in the wrestling ring, you're not really wearing very much at all, are you? What does that clothing really do for you, huh? Anything? Anything at all? Well, now introducing Pleasure Diaper. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's... Wow. That is okay. That is, uh... You're used to hearing the audience yell, give him the chair. Use the ladder to do a flying V slam onto your opponent. But normal ladders just aren't cutting it anymore. Which is why you need our patented ladder that strikes fear deep into the heart of your opponent, making them real in terror even in their sleep. Introducing the Nightmare Ladder. Oh. Oh, it was Helbert before Nightmare Ladder. I'm uh, sorry, it's going to Nightmare Ladder. That is that's too bad. Right. It's going to be a Schultz and Ladders <laughs> <laughs> Almost had him with the pleasure diaper. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> that, was, that was not something I was concerned with. All right. All right, guys. I'm a pregnant woman. I was gonna ask, but I thought it was rude. Maybe you were just putting on weight. <laughs> nope, I'm a pregnant woman. Josh, we're so excited for you. I will say this about pregnant women. You didn't get there by yourself. Nope. And let's face it, you can be a bit intolerable. So, this is actually a gift to give to your husband now that you're pregnant to help deal 
with your shit. Okay. It will rescue him. It's his mood parachute. <laughs> Depending on your mood, it will deploy and allow him to escape as he throws himself out of the plane because he can't listen to you talk any longer about why he drinks so much <laughs> on the plane. All right, what if we're not in a plane? Oh no, just <laughs> only on the plane. It's okay. <clears throat> you could use it in a car, but I think that would kill you. You know, when I had my first child, I was just amazed by how little time I had. It was so hard to make sure that food was prepared for the day, that the baby was changed, and furthermore, making sure that I got clean each and every day. Well, there just wasn't enough time. That's why I invented this creation that cuts down by allowing you to do two tasks at the same time, and I'm absolutely positively sure that there's no inherent danger because we field tested it at least once. It's our patented shower oven. <laughs> so we can clean at the same time. Holy crap. This would save me so much time. You know, it would, but honestly, look, let's be honest. You're pregnant, you're, you're very... You don't want to do, you don't want to do this shit. You don't want to do any of this shit. You don't want to, you know, this, everything. Just stay at home, that watch boy, TV, and eat some, and some cup noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle cup? Cup noodle? Okay. Um, it's like ramen. Uh, this is gonna be the game winning point no matter it who is. I give it to, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Oh yeah! My oh, game man. winner is cup noodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is my But I wouldn't be able to heat up my cup noodle without my shower oven. Yeah! Boom! You can do it in the microwave, actually. Um, oh yeah, I yeah, that, yeah. that could have happened. But not in the shower! <laughs> That's <laughs> right! You can't do that. You don't cook ramen yeah. in, in, in the oven. That's stealth. Naysayer. I mean... It didn't no. say that it was ramen, it just said cup noodle. It's, that's, or was it noodle cup? I forget. It's cup noodle. It's okay. ramen. <laughs> it's literally a brand of ramen. Oh, man. And so that's snake oil. That is uh, snake yeah, oil. Yeah, that was the whole yeah. thing. It's That's an awesome alternate... Uh, <clears throat> something different from apples to apples or uh, cards against humanity. So, yeah. Very Water preferable. Home. And obviously you can act out your sales pitches as much or as little as you want, use voices yeah. as much or as little as you want. And, Thousands uh, of combinations. I mean, my favorite was still a fish sandwich. <laughs> and now, we sometimes got- Sometimes the have, most uh, banal things win, and sometimes the most esoteric, bizarre things win. We have blue and green cards, so you've got two different sets here? Yeah, yeah so actually there the are- There are actually, I think at this point there may be three expansions. Oh, I think we've only got one. We've only got one of them, but yeah, so, and the expansions come with new uh, job card, or customer cards, as well as new potential uh, sales cards. Okay. So if you find that with your one regular old snake oil, you're like, yeah, we've used all of these a bunch of times, the expansions offer way more interesting uh, I was customers. a robot magician. I won. So that's our video. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. And now we're going to review this thing? No, I thought this was just a playthrough. All right, well, you can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. No, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure you check out more of our uh, video playthroughs. Uh, links are right here. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, keep on playing games and. I think you should awesome. actually cut it after I say, well, you can cut that. <laughs> well, you can and cut then that. just put the videos. <laughs> yep. Or just have you saying, hey, like and subscribe. Here's the videos. All right. Get out of my store. Get out of my store. Welcome to play. No, get out of my store. store. <laughs>